Hello. To make things more clear, <clears throat> it's more quiet now. It's Friday, November 19, 2021 at 4.45 p.m. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Like, <clears throat> I want to be more physically able, but... I'm so worn out, exhausted, and tired, and fatigued. Um, my performance wasn't the best today, you know, with work. But I'm trying. So, I'm open for more possible work opportunities next week. <clears throat> I'm open for anything except um, festivals no, and sports and no, whatever's noise and crowds. <sighs> Excuse me. Or I'm open enough to doing like some aftermath cleanup <clears throat> or something like that, but I can't be around noise and, and crowds and, you know, so many people being close to me. So. Money wise. I'm going to. I feel like I'm going to need. To be able to. um Get me some work. You know next week. If anything. Any opportunity. I mean, even if it's a $10 an hour job <clears throat> that's like eight hours, even if I got to spend $30, I'll have a little more in my pocket. <clears throat> I mean, if I got to spend $30 Uber ride, I'll at least have more, a little more in my pocket, you know. But still trying to find a way to get laundry done. <clears throat> which I need to do like emergency <laughs> um laundry done but if not then I would just take advantage of resting my ass off next week <clears throat> and um I also plan to um it's just one room <laughs> I'm planning to try to clean up <clears throat> the um my little motel room. Like trying to I mean, I have a thought and I plan to clean it up and I mean like I mean I feel like I don't wanna be a burden to nobody, so you know, that's why I try to do everything myself, but Plus me not liking the touching thing. That's why I just rather do be independent. But I gotta prepare myself to um sweep the floor, sweep and mop the floor, and um in both the the little the motel room and the bathroom, and you know <clears throat> try to brace myself for. To clean the bath, I mean the uh the refrigerator and the microwave, so I can feel more comfortable and stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> but um, I'm also planning to write more. I mean, it's easy and simple enough that I probably can just by next week I probably can. Um, <clears throat> publish. I, I I probably can um publish the skip ebook, and I'm not gonna um do Kindle Unlimited. So because the perps having access, you know, and just want to make bad reviews and stuff on purpose, being evil, you know, so. I'm not gonna 
But then again, somebody told me stop um, publishing my books on Amazon, that I should go elsewhere and try to have better control and full control over all the rights. But, you know, I one of the reasons why I started up the blog <clears throat> that I started up like February 2020 was... You know, to talk about the targeting, and I was going to write short, and I was doing, like, my short stories and and everything like that, but I got proof of harassment from the perps. Make I wasn't going to sit there and let those perps, you know, leave the comments published, the comments and false accusations published on my blog. You don't have that authority or the right to, you know act like that on my blog so none of their comments got approved I never approved their comments but their harassing comments but I would screenshot them and then um you know and show them to other TIs you know for proof of my targeting that's all we can go to is other TIs for our proof of our targeting or we can pray to God, you know, so, in this cold, scary world, where the police do not protect and serve, you know, very few, very few good police out there, who really have a heart and care, it's not that many, but there are some. But I don't respect in general. They got too many bad ones that make me feel a certain way about them as a whole. Well, when I was driving for one of the cab companies, the one of the men in uh, New Orleans, one of the men who trained me. Excuse me, he said that he was, um, he said he was a former cop and then turned cab driver. And this man, he didn't care. He, if he was a former cop and then he was a bus driver and a cab driver, <clears throat> I don't know how he did it, like being a cab driver and a bus driver. So, so, um, after being a police for so many years. But he said that he would drive the cab by itself like 14 hours a day, you know, sitting in the cab. But then he would also do bus driving on the side, too. But that man, he said that basically um, police officers are more like paid actors. You know, he's basically paid to play a role. You know, because y'all know how it is. You know, the police are there to protect the protect and serve the new world order, and not the um people. But the ones who do stand up to protect the people, you know, <clears throat> it's like they end up losing their jobs. You know, um, for standing up for what's right and not being a crook. So, I salute the good military veterans and the good police out here, you know, but not the crooked ones, not the gang stalk, the ones who are compliant with gang stalking. Because they got some dis- veterans, disabled or not, who are targeted individuals. <clears throat> but they got some military veterans that are perps, too. So. um, I won't be able to stay on here for too long. Because. Today being Friday, the busy day, I have to mop my ass off. Um, 
we have to mop a lot, you know, do all the mopping on Fridays. <clears throat> but I'm just freaking ready to go. Like, I felt so physically exhausted. And I just wanted to... Excuse me. I felt physically exhausted and and just... I attempted to um set my alarm for a little while and try to take a nap, but now I can't take a nap. But um but I remember to bring my dinner today and it's leftovers from this past Saturday. You know, I put it in the like bought three plates of food from Walmart that was four ninety seven. You know, three pre-made plates of, like, chicken, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. So, I'm going to have that and put it, I mean, eat the last one tonight, you know, for dinner. And so... When you're invited to like Thanksgiving or Christmas parties or whatever, <clears throat> you, you know, you feel, if you know the truth, it seems like you, you feel mixed feelings on whether or not to go, you know, but <clears throat> I figure I don't even try to celebrate the holiday anymore. I just doggone, you know, consider it like a normal meal. Like last year I had no Thanksgiving food, I don't think. And on Thanksgiving, I think I, I don't remember what I had, but I do remember having like some pickled quail eggs and um capers. And I don't remember what else I had. Um no turkey dinner at all, no stuffing, no none of that. And I just stayed in the, it was the extended stay hotel <clears throat> at the time. But I'm glad, like, somebody had gifted me $500, and that was able to keep me in the, in the um safe and warm and off the streets. And, and thanks, you, you know, because she didn't want me, I don't even remember the lady's name now. But thanks so much. I mean, that I pr really appreciate that. You know, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm just trying to stay afloat. They're attacking us targeted individuals even harder now. They're attacking us harder that, you, you know, So, um, <clears throat> I hate being forced to be quiet about certain things in order to stay afloat, <clears throat> you, you know, I really do. So, like. Right now, I'm feeling physically tired and exhausted, and I feel slowed right now. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what the weather's going to be like tomorrow or Sunday, but I don't even care to go even take a visit downtown, but mainland Pensacola, like, <clears throat> I've been having to put it on hold to try to get me some more amazing grass green superfood supplement and some more bentonite clay, the ingestible clay, but they don't have it here. Even at the Walmarts and stuff, 
the in Publix over here they don't have it. So I've been suffering. I mean, I've been dealing with. I'm not, I don't want to say suffering, but I've been dealing without it. But <clears throat> I've been wanting to and needing to detox my body with the bentonite clay, at least. <clears throat> um, I still have not been having a period this month, but yesterday and today. It felt kind of like I had slight cramps, but still no, no menstruation. You know. <clears throat> so um, I almost was gonna take a nap. I almost was gonna take a nap here, but um, now I'm feeling kind of wide awake, but. <clears throat> I heard to get prepared, like, I guess the Kyle Rittenhouse thing is like another distraction, and so, you know, people are saying prepare, but y'all know my situation, I, I'm I'm kind of lost and scared and confused about how to prepare living in a week-to-week -week motel. But um, it would be even harder on the streets, <clears throat> you know. So some people are saying, like, be prepared for chaos and uproar. <clears throat> some people say that Kyle Rittenhouse was really innocent. And other people think he was guilty. I don't know the full story or the whole story. But um, from what I heard, two guys, one of them try to assault him with a skateboard and another person had a Glock. So if they did that to him, then I don't, and I don't know the reasons behind why, you know? So I heard he killed two people and injured another. So if they, if he jumped them, I'm, I'm sorry, they jumped him and he did that. Then I would say it's self-defense too. But I would have to go back and look deeper <clears throat> into the, like, you know, deeper into the situation. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, if somebody, I, I mean, I don't, well, I don't know, though, um, yeah, so if somebody try to kill you, you know. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say yet that I think he's innocent, and I and I gotta, you know, go back and do thorough research, you know. But I'm just, um, <clears throat> you know. And then I heard somebody say something about that Joe Biden fell ill. I forgot what they said happened to him or was going to happen to him or something, but they said that Kamala Harris or whatever is trying to fill, is supposed to fill in as president, but I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I don't believe in a pre, a Christian pre-tribulation rapture. I don't, um, If any rapture, I think it'll be like post tribulation. Some people believe in a mid tribulation rapture, <clears throat> but a lot of religious and a lot of fake Christian narcissistic abusers, they narcissistically glorify themselves as that they're going to be taken up in the rapture. While they're still living in sin. But they'll tell you about your sins, but they no you can't tell them about theirs. <clears throat> you know, so but you know, I heard that Project Bluebeam 
is a thing to look out for. Fake rapture. Project Bluebeam. And they will have voice of God talking to everybody and deceiving everybody. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, and I think the book of Luke warns against, you know, all this. You know, you know Jesus tells us in the Bible, you know, what's going to go on. Don't believe it. So, and I heard about the new age fake Messiah called Maitreya that's going to deceive the masses project blue beam they said was going to happen in 2012 but it didn't happen <clears throat> and like a lot of false prophecies with the year 2012 and some people were like well maybe it's going to be 2021 but i don't i still don't think so i don't know but um what we're hearing about the dark winter Jesus said, I don't remember exactly what scripture, but I think in Matthew and, I, and then if not repeated in Luke, I don't remember what other where else, but he said, let not your flight be in the winter. So, and I got to practice to not fear because he said fear not, but I've been living in fear. So let me stop rambling on and let me get back to work.